everyone. I'm Larissa Jaredius, and uh, I'm going to share with you um, my typical day or typical week. Um, as you see in the screen, this is my um, evening or weekend. I grade a lot of papers, and um, I take a long time, especially if the writing is like not easy to understand. So um, I try to find something that will help me with this, and I found Ed Elastic. Um, on top of this, I have to plan for my next lesson. Um, papers keep piling up. My biggest challenge was at the end, you know, the following day that I gave a test, my students are asking already what my score, what my score, and I'm not ready to give them anything. So um, I looked for something that can help me with that, and I found Ed Elastic. So can we go to the next screen? And so here comes Ed Elastic. All my assessments are in one page. Um, and never to get lost, I used to have students complaining, ah, where's my paper? And, and I, it's either I lost them or they did not turn it into me. They did not put it in the right bin. But here, um, everything is in one place, never to get lost. Can we go to the next slide? And then when I give assignments to my students, I can see their uh, progress right away. So uh, if they started, um, I can see that they have started. Um, I can see their mistakes. And this is what I see in my dashboard. Um, and sometimes I, 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 now I'm using Ed Elastic uh, not only as a um, summative assessment tool, I also use it as a, a formative assessment I, I use it as an assignment. I give them a, um, as an assignment for, um, let's say, the weekend. And so even if we don't have school, I get to see if they have started working on it. Um, and I get to see if they made mistakes. Um, and so um, I can give immediate feedback to them, but I don't, I don't let them see their uh, the results, or the, there is an uh, there is an option where they can see, like what Betty was saying earlier, that um, they can look at their performance. They could see what mistakes they made. I kind of not do that. Um, I give them only the score, and what I do is I look at their performance. Can we go to the next slide, please? And uh, what I do is I make a screenshot of their thumbnail and send it to them. And I say, uh, please uh, uh, go back and revise um, uh, the yellow are uh, partial, partially correct and the red, the red uh, uh, are uh, completely wrong. So then they do that and then they, they email me back and they say they're done or they, can, they email me their work. Can we go to the next slide, please? Um, here are my students. I noticed that when we're using Ed Elastic, they tend to be more focused uh, and they help each other. Uh, and they ask, they're eager to get immediate feedback. They wonder, oh, what did I do? What did I do? How did I do in number three? Or did I get it right? And I think they, they, they get excited about it. Um, here, can we go to the next slide, please? Um, as I said, they collaborate um, during classwork. Um, they ask each other questions. And as, I, as they do this, I go around with my iPad and I look at their performance and then I tell them, oh, go back to number three. You, um, um, you made a mistake on that or there is something that you need to, um, to fix. So uh, I give them immediate intervention. Can we go to the next slide, please? And one more thing, I allow students to redo their work. Uh, sometimes, uh, some of my students, um, they work, um, they need to, uh, and, and they don't have time to um, finish their work. And so sometimes the deadline is passed and they can't finish their work. So I let the, if they email me, I let them redo, uh, redo their work. 
So Ed Elastic makes it easy for me to reassign these tasks to them. And um, students are, they become more um, hopeful. They, they don't give up. Because before, we, when I was not using Ed Elastic, when they get a failing score, they give up and they say, I, I don't want to, do, to try anymore because I failed anyway. But because now I'm letting them redo their work, they keep trying. So even if they fail uh, two times or three times, they just email me and say, can I try again? And I just let them by reassigning the test to them. And I think that's a very powerful thing. Can we go to the next slide, please? Uh, this is sample correspondence between me, myself, and my students. So sometimes they will call me and uh, they will email me and they'll say, hey, Ms. G, can you extend it one more day so I can fix my problems? And um, I do let them. And then I send them this uh, um, screenshot. Um, and can we go to the next slide, please? And here's one where, um, they send me pictures of their work if they have questions or if they want to show me what they have done so far. Um, so I think that it gives us a better, better way to communicate. And I think um, I have one more slide. Um, one of the, uh, the advantages that I saw is, are uh, these, no clutter, no mess, no lost papers. Um, I can give immediate feedback. Um, and it allows me to give intermediate, immediate intervention. Um, they can redo their work. Students can redo their work um, in a few clicks, and it makes them uh, keep trying. Um, and it's easy to manage missed assignments for absent students. So if someone is absent, all I need to do uh, is resend the assignment to them so that they can do it. Um, and if I uh, ever have to be absent, it, it's easy to um, assign tasks to my students. I don't have to go to school to uh, make copies for my sub. And I think that's it.